All right, there hasn't been a whole lot of fishing footage over the last few days. We actually um, didn't buy a license in Oregon because it was expensive and there was a lot going on with my family and everything. So got to spend some good time with them, did some crabbing instead, got a cheap like $19 license for that. That was pretty cool. Um, and then we stayed in Portland last night after leaving the fam. Uh, they went home back to Texas into the heat and we went up to Portland State. Really cool city, really expensive hotel that we got to split with our buddies Chris and Jamie. Um, so that helped us out and then now we are back on scheduled and predicted things such as the Airbnb that we're going to stay in tonight in Seattle. Once we go there, uh, or once we leave there, we're going to the Olympic National Park on the Olympic Peninsula, and we're going to have a good time there. I might get to fish in the Puget Sound tonight or in the morning. Um, if not, we're going to the, to the peninsula, and there should be some fish somewhere on the peninsula, but I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, so it's all research that I'm doing right now, and then just getting to the river and seeing if I can get something to chase a woolly bugger, basically. But we're headed uh, to Seattle right now. Hopefully we'll find some good food and a good night's sleep before we head to the peninsula. So Jet got a little bit sick last night, threw up a few times, so we decided to kind of sleep in this morning, take it easy. I didn't go fishing. We stopped at Walmart, we stopped at Pike Place Market, which is a, I guess, famous market I didn't know about, but Kaylee knew about. So uh, we went, spent a lot of money there, and now uh, we're heading to the peninsula. So we're gonna get to our campground, which is Kalalik, I believe is how you say it, and uh, get settled in for the night. So we pulled up to the campsite last night and we saw these little berries everywhere. Somebody made the suggestion that they might be raspberries, but I've eaten wild raspberries and they didn't really look like wild raspberries. After a little research this morning, I figured out they are salmon berries from what I can tell. So we're gonna try it out, I've never had one. They're kind of thorny down low, but they don't have really any thorns after a certain height. There's a couple of real red ones right here, but they say you can eat the yellow ones too, I think. Oh, snap. Alright. Here we go. Get it. Get not it. as not as sweet as blackberries. That one wasn't. We'll keep trying them. That's them? Yeah. Can you get me one? Mm. Is it good? Do you like it? Let me see, this one's a little lighter. Yeah, there's a big one. There's a big, there's mm. a big one over there. There's here. a monster up here. Uh, there's a big one over here. There's Bob. There's Bob. There's a huge one up here. Where? Give me it. Give me <laughs> the huge one. Can I eat it? Can I eat it? I want to eat it. Jet hasn't eaten one yet. Daddy, can you find me a huge one? There's one over I there. I bet I can. Somewhere. Wow, that's a big one. Look at that. Whoa. Show it to the camera. Hey, See if it's good. They're not as sweet as blackberries or raspberries from what I have had. Daddy, I got you some. I got you some baking flour. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. You're welcome. They kind of do. 
tastes like a... We'll put it right here. Let's go try this. This side, see if there's any over here. Chris said there was one to jump for over here. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find some real red ones first. Is this the one I was jumping for? Oh, yeah. Took the whole flower and everything. They call them salmon berries apparently because, from what I understand, they're, they can be the color of salmon eggs. You wanna zoom in on that? That one's a little bit better. They're not very sweet though. Did you? You want one of these? You want this? Alright, you want you want this? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, it's pretty, isn't it? Get it. Alright, we're doing a for sure taste test here. We're gonna start with the yellow. I'm sure. It's supposed to be not quite right. Pretty bitter. But still pretty good. This one is somewhere between dark red and yellow. Almost feel like that one was more bitter. And then this one's a dark red one. Definitely the sweetest. But they're all kind of bitter. But kind of in a good way. So I'm going to mix these last here. So we make the long trek in from, I guess 101, into the Ho campground here. And there's open space, and there is an open spot right here on the river. We got an awesome campground on the Ho River. I don't know if there's any fishing here, but I'm gonna find out this evening. First, we're going to the Hall of Mosses, and we're gonna do a walk down that trail, and we're gonna come back here and hang out, cook some dinner, enjoy an afternoon on the Ho River. Why is everybody taking a picture? Oh, the Maple Grove. Why don't you just stand right here and kind of bend down and take a picture of up here? It looks really. Oh, oh my god. Change your head. I'm more of the she dragon. I'm mm -hmm. more of the dragon. <laughs> yeah, duck walk it. <laughs> You can't. Bye. If you want. Hi. Hi. You see it? Pretty good looking tacos. Taco meat. Smells good. That's morning too. All right, so we're staying right here on the Ho River. I'm gonna try a couple of these little channels. See if there's anything in them. They are quite possibly void of any fish life, really. Haven't seen just a ton of stuff moving around. I have seen a few mayflies, one that was really big. And the water is very blue and glacial looking, so we shall see. I have to go get that one. It's not that deep. See how deep it is? Yeah. Oh, I got him. I think it's a coastal cutthroat. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's a coastal cutthroat. Yeah. I think. You have to get him still. Jet. This is awesome. Look See, at that fish. I think he had a red mark on him. Did you? Yeah, I took a search of Is he? I don't see any. This might be a steelhead. Have you ever caught one? I haven't. I wish I had my net. Oh no, please, don't let him get out. And don't let him die. Don't let him die, don't let him get out. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. This, I don't really know. I don't see any under 
cuts. So it might be that it's a wild rainbow. I don't, I don't know, he looks like a cutthroat, but they're kind of similar and there's no cuts on him. So beautiful fish. Look at all the par markings. I've never seen that many par markings on fish. All right, I'm gonna let him go. You still recording, Jetto? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Oh, right between my feet. That was cool. Huh? Yeah, I can see it good. Oh. Got one? Focus on it. Think so. Rainbow? <laughs> Might have to back up just a little bit. Pretty cool. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Little guy. Oh, yeah. No. Doesn't he almost like one? Want me, want me to take a picture? Sure. I'm gonna picture with my phone. Okay. You show Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Press his middle button. No! No! Alright, X out of that. Got that. Still got the fins. I mean, this is a wild fish. No fin clip. Jet and I did a little fishing, stalking down the river, and finally ended up getting into some rainbows. I'm guessing they were stalker rainbows, but especially that first one had so many par markings. I don't know if that's a a wild trout or what I don't know the life cycle of these things that well so uh, I might just call it that and let you guys on YouTube kind of wear me out about it maybe but I think it was cool either way now we're headed back to the campground see if anybody's still awake probably uh, warm our feet up and get ready for bed